But what I'm actually doing is a, what we'll loosely call a tickle tickle form. So a tickle tickle form is just a reference to like a figurative form in a 3D, three D, three three dimensional shape, three dimensional form. So what this is made out of is, is this bottom section is made out of British Columbian jade, and the the head section is made out of New Zealand pounamu. Depending on that person or that atu or that god, depending on who it is, um, will dictate the sort of end meaning of what the piece is. So with this one here, I haven't got to that stage yet where I haven't named the figurative piece. Um, but this piece actually goes onto a canoe, um, uh, towed up a canoe prow form, uh, stern, a stern form, not a prow form, a stern form. Uh, um, towed up us, so the, the back section of the, of the canoe. And when you look at an analogy of things like that, it talks about the form itself, um, you know, is, it's like a, a, a journey type form. It's, it's to represent movement, it's to represent journey. The figurative form could be in a way, like particularly this particular piece would be a connection between um, Māori of New Zealand and North West Coast First Nations of Canada. So what the piece is, is about that link between the Pacific Ocean. So maybe just off the top of my head, which I haven't noted out, a figurative form could be a symbol of Kiwa, who was the great discoverer of the Pacific. He was a great uh, navigator through the Pacific. So, so what, we, what we sort of do is when we do pieces like that, we're actually carving something to tell a story, to um, put uh, a little bit of oral history into something tangible, something that's, that's visual, but something that you can touch. When you put the words with the, the, the visual form, then people can understand it, and then they learn a little bit about that oral history. So in the sense, before there was any written language, any, um, uh, well, any written language, all the language, for particularly Māori, um, the Māori language was done visually. It was done either through um, carving, through whakauru, through wood carving, through stone carving through uh, certain types of uh, geometry patterns through tukutuku, through, um, through um, adornment, through cloaks, through just, just pretty much just about everything you use every day.